Hello everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I am sharing with you how I plan in my Inkwell Press Classic Planner for this week. Right there I have laid out all of the things that I typically reach for and I wanted to share with them a little bit better. Inside of my Happy Planner carrying case, that's where I keep my Libby & Company stickers in that Erin Condren clutch. Then here are the two little pouches where I keep my stamps. That's the pouch that I keep my often reach stamp, the ones that I use a lot. And then this other one is the one that I don't use a lot. Now when you open the other side, you can see that I keep my little mini inks in there and some pens. And then on the other side, there's just a little a squishy pouch thing that I keep my Happy Planner stickers in, and then that zipper pocket where I keep all of my four by six and then my small, tiny little stamps. You can't see it, but they're in there too, like the two by twos or two by threes. So that is what I carry in that particular thing. I can also still stick my Happy Planner in there as well. Now there's a better look at the clutch. You've seen that before, that's not new if you've watched my videos. This is a little pocket from Kaiser Craft. It holds a whole bunch of stickers in there. It's a great size, it's perfect. It's got a little zipper, I love it. It also actually has rings if you wanted to put it in a binder. I don't, but you could. These are the March Scraptastic Club stickers from the Plan On It kit. I am super in love with them. I use a few of them today in my planner and I just, I really, really love these a lot. They're designed by a professional graphic designer and then they're professionally printed and that just makes a world of difference as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so let's get started printing or planning, I'm sorry. As I've told you before, I pre-plan on post-its. I let myself work with different handwriting styles. I practice, scribble, you know, whatever, so that I just get to have a little bit of fun trying out different things. So the handwriting that you see in my actual printer is my actual handwriting, not the ones on the post-it notes. So since I love the March color scheme so much in the inkwell, I decided that for the whole month I would use that as one of my colors. So I've already gone orange in this color, I've gone yellow in this color, and this week I'm gonna do red in this color, which is really fun as far as I'm concerned. To separate the two parts into two parts, the weekly column, or the daily columns, goodness, I'm having a hard time talking, I am using some Me and My Big Ideas washi tape from one of the different tubes. I don't remember which one, but if you were interested in that particular washi, I could figure out which one it's from. Anyway, so I like to do that so that I can put my to-dos in the bottom part and the appointments and activities in the top part. I like to keep those separated, and this is the best way for me. It's why the Erin Condren or the Happy Planner is perfect since they're already divided up into three different sections, but it's okay. This works just fine, and I get to then use some different types of washi to have a little bit of fun with and experiment, so it really works out okay. Now for the to-do sticker, I used a Scraptastic Club sticker, and then for this three little event one, I'm also using a Scraptastic sticker. You'll see a lot of red, which is super weird because I hardly ever use red in anything. It's I like the color perfectly fine, it's just not one I gravitate towards. However, this aqua and red color scheme is one of my very favorites, so it seemed pretty natural to give it a try for planning this week. I like to vary every day how I plan my activities, just like I do my to-do lists too, actually. I am just using that three little dot thing to plan the three activities for today. I don't know if it's good or not, to be perfectly honest with you. I probably prefer separate little boxes for each one, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. It's just one week in my planner, right? I'm gonna use a little teardrop sticker from that sampler from Libby and Company. It's a really nice little aqua color, and it just helps me note that I need to bring snacks for that baseball game that's right there. The teardrops I know can be hard for some people to use. I literally use them for one word, or two words maybe. I don't use them for trying to write something of significance, just tiny little things or whatever. Now, I also have other things that I need to write in the Monday section of this particular week. So I need to go through the rest of my stickers and see if I can find things that will work for putting down a couple of different things. I have a hard time this week. I don't know why, let's preface that. I'm a little bit confused. I forget to add a couple things even in this video. I had to go back after the video and add them. Clearly I just wasn't completely focused, which is okay. So again, I'm using that red arrow sticker that I just put down for a note for one of the, the um, 
activities that is listed in that list. Oh, sorry, again, I'm clearly not very focused. I think I had this problem last week too, right? Anyway, so it gives me a little bit of extra room to write about that. And I think that's maybe why this particular format isn't perfect for me, at least for these type of activities. There's a little spray bottle for my cleaning on here. And I love those planner Jubilo stickers. They're super cute. I love the planner sticker paper that she uses also. They're a definite winner in my book. Now using one of those little I don't know if you call them rectangle labels or what exactly you call them, but just to also write an event as well on Monday. Those are from Scraptastic Club. Again, I those are some of my very favorites. I have probably three or four favorite sticker shops that are at the very, very top of the list, and that is definitely at the very top. They Anything Caitlin Schaefer designs is A-OK -okay in my book. Now I feel like Monday is pretty well finished, which is good because, you know, who knows if it is actually or not, right? Since I told you that I'm having a hard time keeping everything together, but I'm going to move on to Tuesday and I'm using that really fun red circle sticker to start my to-do list and I just, I think it's fun to add a little bit of fun since I am a functional planner and I only do very small amounts of decorating my planner, I like to make the functional fun and cute and that's I think why I go with the color scheme. That's also why these knockout print shop stickers are perfect because they match the colors in the inkwell press and they are super functional, which is A-OK -okay in my book. I know a lot of people like to decorate more. I do not. I'm definitely far more functional. So those knockout print shop ones are perfect. They even have that one. It has room for me to add the teeny tiny baseball sticker. And it just ends up perfect as far as I'm concerned. It's super cute, but then it absolutely helps me keep track of what's going on, which is exactly what I need. So they are a definite win-win in my book and in that top four of favorite sticker shops. It's a weird week for me because we're transitioning from two sports into one for two of my sons. And so I'm, I guess maybe that's why I'm just having a little bit harder time keeping it together for planning. My overloaded activity schedule is sort of dwindling down now and so maybe that's why I'm having a little bit more of a struggle. I'm not exactly sure but either which way I'm a little bit confused but it's okay it all ends up in the end. Today after I'm all done the planner is perfectly fine it's all organized and that's really what matters is keeping everything together and organized and it is so that's great. These Libby and Company stickers are perfect. They have plenty of room for writing. They're super cute. They're bright. They're bold. I love them. I'm a huge fan of Libby and Company. I use a Pilot permanent pen on those stickers. I like the tip of them. I've said that 50 times, so if you watch my videos every week, you already know that, but if you're new now, you know. I like the tip as opposed to the Sharpie. I know probably some people say the same. I think they feel a little bit different, and the Pilot works well for me. I like to use those particular stickers with a small little icon sticker as well, either one of the teeny tiny ones or one that's slightly larger. I like to change it up so I wouldn't do like the same thing every single week or whatever. Those right there on the top, those scalloped label ones are also a favorite of mine. They provide a ton of room for writing, which is really necessary. Sometimes I have a lot of things I need to write. So right there you see I'm adding a Libby and Company baseball icon sticker, and it's just fantastic. It really just does exactly what I need it to do, and it's super cute. And like I said already, as a totally 100% functional planner, being able to add pops of things that are cute along with it is just great. Now I'm going to go through those Scraptastic Club Plan On It stickers and look through and see how I can make some of those work, especially finding ones that work for this color scheme, which is sort of that aqua and red. But, you know, I don't stick to it completely. I definitely let myself vary a little bit. So you'll see that I have a little bit more of like a blue-green, a little bit more of a turquoise, you know, whatever goes. It's really just sort of a blue and red theme if you want to know the truth, even though my inkwell press is pretty solidly in the aqua corner. I take those flag stickers and I trim them up a little bit with my craft knife. If I didn't, they would reach all the way across the column, which is fine. That's absolutely perfect. But for me, I like to have them point to the icon, and so I need them to be a little bit smaller. But I'd rather have them be too big because then I can cut off what I need to cut off, and then they still work great. So it's no big deal. 
The other thing I love about those Libby and Company is that they are removable, and I mean totally removable. So that's awesome, see? Because I screwed up and I put a baseball sticker when I needed a basketball sticker, which is, of course, like I said, part of this week's screw up for me. But the Libby and Company baseball came right off. So there's no problem at all. I'll be able to use it again. No waste there. She is definitely super, super affordable. I love the removable. There's just really very little that I don't love about the Libby and Company stickers. Now again, looking through my Scraptastic stickers, trying to see if there's something that I can use that will work. I'm having a little bit of a struggle on Thursday because there was an event that was moved and I have a hard time I had pre I had just drawn an arrow in my post-it note, which is probably stupid. I should have crossed it out entirely, but you know, I didn't. And so I think that's where my confusion sort of started. So I need to learn myself better in my style, I guess, right? Here is a stamp that I'm using from the Sweet Stamp Shop, and it's a little glue and crayon stamp together. I think it's from Plan to Craft, and I am using that this week to notate the projects that I have that are due, which I don't always use that. Sometimes I use the little quill and the ink. I don't know. I just felt like something a little bit different and fun this week. Maybe it was really because I'm using red ink, which is completely not normal for me, but they look so super cute in the red ink, so... I'm happy that that was the choice that I made. Like I've said before, I use that middle box for assignments that are due or blog posts that are due and the bottom boxes for my meal planning. I have yet to use any of the top boxes, so I usually cover them with washi tape and it works great for me because the washi is really cute and adds that bit of decoration, but it's super simple. It's not crazy. Obviously, rolls of washi tape are very, very price um, conscious since you get a ton of washi tape on one roll and they're usually no more than five dollars and even that's really pushing it in terms of expense. Now I'm going to start working on the meal planning like I talked about in that bottom box. I'm taking the cutlery and the word dinner from that Scraptastic Club stamp and putting them very close together and then I stamp all along the bottom boxes those two things together and then I write in what my plans are for those particular days. Now I only do dinner, no one is here during the day and obviously you know when you're just a lone wolf having lunch I play it by ear so I don't need to meal plan for that and I only pack lunches so again no big deal there. It's a little bit more difficult when I get to Thursday. I have to remember to keep the stamps away from the side of the block so that they don't run into the coil and that sounds easier than it really is because even though I've been stamping in a planner for well over a year now, I still totally forget sometimes and it gets screwed up. And so when I'm stamping on Thursday, I need the stamps to be on the far right. And when I'm stamping on Friday, I need the stamps to be on the far left. And sometimes I just forget and it's very silly because you'd think week after week I could remember, and I do remember. It's just that sometimes in the midst of planning, I get caught up and I don't even really think about it very much, but it's okay. Anyway, I love the way that red ink looks at the bottom, and it's my favorite VersaFine ink, which is the only ink I would ever use, but it does not come in as large of a range of colors as some other inks do, and so I'm forced to use other inks. And you'll see here soon, I break out my Versa Magic, which is in this really very pretty aqua color. I do like to use it a lot because the color is so beautiful. But quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, there is no ink like VersaFine. It is just magic to stamp with. And if you are interested in stamping at all, I would highly recommend using VersaFine. It does not bleed in any of the major planners in an Erin Condren or a Happy Planner or anything like that. It does have a little bit of shadowing with the darker colors, but it's marvelous and it is so much more forgiving than other inks for new planners. I mean for old planners too certainly but if you're new to stamping and you just need a little bit more help VersaFine is absolutely far more forgiving than any other brand of ink and it's formulated to be great for small stamps for fine stamps you know really detailed and stuff like that that's why I highly recommend it. Now up on the top of Friday you'll see that I use a Scraptastic Club label stamp that or sticker I'm sorry and I love using the labels because they've got that really classic look without compromising function whatsoever so I love to throw one in or one or two in a week and usually for some reason by the time I get to Friday I'm craving that change from the rest of the planner stickers so I, I find that I often use them on Fridays there's no reason for that I, I guess that's just what logically feels right to me maybe it's pattern I don't know anyway I also throw a little sticker on there 
and dress it up a bit. Now this week I'm putting my weekend back in the middle of the page to match up with that washi. I don't know why, it just felt right right there. That is a Pick'em Stick'em weekend stamp sticker, by far my favorites. I don't know why, I guess it's the font, I guess it's the color, the way that she uses color on those stickers, the whole thing. I just, I'm really a big fan of those. And so using them is super fun. And mine came with a sheet of a whole bunch of different colors. So I was really excited that there was a red sort of based one because again, I don't use very red very often, but since I did, I was glad to have it. Now I'm using those Sweet Stamp Shop circle stickers, or stamps, I'm sorry, goodness. And I am going to stamp them in different directions, of course, screwing up this aqua one because why would I remember to put the stamp on the right side of the coil? I wouldn't. And then, see? Screwing it up because it's got it on the right side instead of the left side. It's okay, I'm just gonna move it, I'm gonna re-stamp it. It looks a little bit messed up, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world, it's still perfectly fine. And quite frankly, the aqua ink for me is so pretty that it didn't really make any difference that there was a little bit too much on there. I'm also gonna stamp some baseball icons on there from the Sweep Stamp Shop Play Ball stamp set. I also left a little bit of room because I was thinking that I would also stamp the times in there. I have decided since then not to do it. It was a little bit more effort than I wanted to do, but you absolutely could, and it would be so cool to have, like, say, the baseball, and then it's, say, 3.30 or whatever, too. That would be really neat because there is definitely room for that. If you can see, there's a little bit of leftover room at the top, and it would look really good. Maybe I'll get around to that next week. Like I said, this week was crazy as far as me getting it all together and not being kind of spaced out about it, so it wasn't going to work for me this week but we'll give it a try another time. I love how using multiple of those images, either the circles or the hexagons from that basic stamp set, basic tabs, I'm sorry, they look together when you do a few of them together, or more than one, I should say. I think they look really cool. I've done it in other weeks where I've done three together, and they just, they look really neat. I don't know why, but they're visually definitely making a big impact. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking for some reason. So I just write the events right there in the circle and done. That's what's awesome about stamping too is that you're not adding any bulk to your planner. You're not rebuying stickers. It's not a consumable product. So once you have an ink pad and a stamp set, you can use those forever. You don't have to buy new ones. I mean, obviously most of us are addicted to them just like everything else, so you will buy more, but you absolutely don't have to. A couple of good functional stamp sets and you can make super cute layouts in your planner pages without ever having to buy another thing. And again, the ink, I mean, really an awesome ink, black ink pad, like a VersaFine or something, it's gonna take you a long way. You know, you're gonna have a lot of good use out of those couple of items. So now with that said, I added one more thing to my Friday using one of those Aero stickers and then just a cute little alarm clock icon. I like to use the clock when I can't think of anything else, like say volunteering or whatever. What else am I gonna use for that? I don't know, I don't have a sticker for that. I don't really have a stamp for that either. So just using the alarm clock helps me know. Now I have sticker on Friday for the to-do. Those are from Chrissy Ann Designs. And I'm gonna also probably use another one on this half, I can't quite remember, except for I am also stamping for Wednesday to do, that is from Scraptastic Club. I That is probably my most favorite stamp. I love the size, I love the font. It is perfect, perfect, perfect. I pretty much use it every single week. There are lots of other ones that I love, but if I could only use one more stamp, it would definitely be that one. Since I'm not forgetting too much, I'm gonna add a little bit more decoration to the first half of this week, that everyday sticker. It's kind of from a decorative set. If you had a Erin Condren or a Happy Planner, you could add those right to your blocks if you didn't have anything going on, say on like a Tuesday evening or whatever. It would be really cool. Now, this is a little clipboard sticker. I've gotten away from using those recently. I used to use them a lot from Crystal & Company Plans. And I am gonna take that and then use one of these list stamp, like the little um, circles that you can check things off from the list, from Scraptastic Club, the, Mar the February Plan On It kit. Uh, one of my favorite sets ever, I love it and give myself little check marks for things to do on Wednesday. This actually turned out brilliantly. I am super excited about it. I have never thought to do that on the clipboard sticker, which is probably kind of stupid because obviously it would lend itself to that, but it's really cool on there. And I love the aqua ink on the red clipboard. It just, it all works together really well. 
Now for Thursday, I'm using a Libyan Company Inkables. I'm madly in love with that paper. You can use any pen. It doesn't smear. I've tried gel pens. I've tried fly flares. I've tried everything and they're fabulous. And just, I love those because you can use whatever you have on hand. And it's a really a genius paper. Now this washi tape is from Freckled Fawn. It's a really old one that I have. I've definitely had it well over a year. And I wanted to use it last week because it has the blue and yellow in it, but it had red in it too, and I wasn't feeling the red. So this week I'm absolutely getting to use it, and it's perfect for my color scheme. It's It definitely still got the yellow in it, obviously that didn't go anywhere, but it seems to just work great. And I'm super excited to get to use it because I love the washi. I just never really found a way for it to work in any of my layouts before. So... I was excited to get to use it this week. Now I needed something else to pair with it. So I was going through my stash of washi and looking for red. And like I said before, I'm not a red person at all. So I don't hardly ever use red, but I did find a red grain washi tape that is also from Freckled Fawn that I've had for years easily that again, I hardly ever use because it's red and I don't reach for red in anything, in clothing, in craft supplies, anything. And I love the washi though. I love the wood grain. I love the teeny little hearts in the center and stuff like that, but I just never find myself using it. So I decided that this would be a great opportunity. And I love the way the wood grain goes with the triangles because the triangles are super geometric. And then the wood grain has got more of a whimsical feel to it, I guess you would say. And so they just, they really play off of each other really nicely. I like that dichotomy. So anyway, the colors are fabulous, and I'm so excited that those were the ones that I went with. And again, like I had mentioned already, the half circle Chrissy Ann Designs to-do stickers right there on top of the washi. It looks awesome. I just, those stickers are really cool for that. Now again, washing up the right side of the week, just so I can get that part all finished. And we just keep getting closer and closer to being finished without really doing even all that much more. Because since I plan all of the things all at once, that part is really done. So that's kind of nice because once I'm done with that, if I didn't feel like going on, I wouldn't have to. This last part is sheerly decor. There's nothing functional about this at all. I just like being able to add that little bit of fun at the bottom. Now it's time to go for Thursday. I'm going to use these Hello Emma Company stickers. I have basketball ones and I have baseball ones. I'm, these are kind of different. They have sort of a glossy feel when you touch them, but if I use a permanent marker on them, it gets all weird and streaky. I can't think of a better way to describe it. So I used just normal pens on these. I don't use a permanent marker and they don't smear or anything like that. I really like them. I think that they are so fun because most stickers are really mostly white based even if they have the icon on the side like these or whatever or they have a little layer of color around the edges they're still pretty much white based I like these because they're not they really add a full pop of color to my event and I like that I like having a little bit more color in my planner because again a lot of things are really pretty white, like all the paper in the planner is white and that kind of thing. And I just like adding the color, especially since I'm such a functional planner and I don't add too many decorative stickers. So it's just really fun to be able to add that little bit. I also really like how that looks when I alternate those. So putting you know, a the icon on the left, the icon on the right, the icon on the left. I just think that ends up looking super cute. Now this is just a couple of sheerly decorative stickers and I know I always talk about how I don't do much decorating because I really don't in comparison to some people, but sometimes I like to add like a little encouraging sticker where there's, where, where there's room and that's what I did here and then the little cactus on the side of that as well. It's just really fun to add something a little bit different when I have the room because I don't always have the room. Sometimes it's just so full of activities and stuff that I can't waste the space on decoration and so that's where I have tried to make my functional items really cute as well. I've decided though that it would be fun to add some one last decor piece to this particular layout. I have the sticker on Tuesday like I added the 
on the Saturday and Sunday evening those couple of stickers and then you'll see in my final I added actually a couple of more little stickers down there as well but so now I've decided that I am going to stamp this bunny stamp from Scraptastic Club it was from last spring it's just this really super sweet little Easter bunny st stamp just because I don't have anything else on Thursday he's totally adorable and I might as well right so that's it. I will stamp my stamp and we will move on with this week. Like I said already, I do add a couple of things after. So when you see them in the, the photo, you're not like, ah. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. Let's me know that you liked it. It also lets YouTube know what you like to see. Thank you so much and have a great day.